Hey guys, in this video, I wanna talk about some of the top science back benefits of Hosha Wu. Hosha Wu, also known as Polygonum multiforum, or as we call it over here in Northern America, Fo tea is one of the most important herbs in the Chinese herbal system. So in Chinese pharmacopoeia, Hosha Wu is considered to be a yin jing tonic herb, meaning it restores, replenishes the essence energy or the jing energy, as Chinese medicine practitioners call it, which is responsible for the strength and integrity of our innate immune system. It's responsible for our sexual energy, sexual function, or reproductive abilities. It's also said to be what's responsible for the quality of our bone marrows and our bone, teeth, hair, skin, as well as a attributing factor to the quality or strength of our willpower and determination. So in Chinese medicine, the yin jing energy is incredibly important as you can see. However, I'm not going to dive too deep into the traditional benefits of Hosha Wu and the concepts of yin jing energy. I've saved that for other videos, so if you're curious as to learning more about Ho Shu Wu from a traditional perspective or the concepts of Jing, Qi, Shen, I have other videos. Be sure to check those out. Um, just give the YouTube channel a quick search, uh, Ho Shu Wu, as well as uh, give a quick search on the topic of the three treasures to learn a bit more, again, from the traditional perspective. However, what I would like to focus on in this particular video is some of the mounting modern clinical research and pharmacological studies that have examined Ho Shu Wu's incredible therapeutic benefits for treating a wide variety of diseases, including liver cancer, diabetes, hair loss, neurodegenerative diseases, amongst many others. Now, before we dive into the long list of benefits here, I just want to quickly highlight some of the most important chemical compounds in Ho Shu Wu that give it the majority of its therapeutic benefits. So in Ho Shu Wu or Fo Ti, there's over a hundred known chemical constituents, according to chemical analysis. Now, of those many chemical constituents, there's three families or three groups of chemicals that are most biologically active and responsible for the great majority of Hoshu's benefits. And those are quinones, flavonoids, and phospholipids. Now there's one particular chemical known as emodin, and emodin gives Hoshu the majority of its incredible benefits. So if you haven't already, I would highly recommend, once you're done watching this video, watching the video that I made on emodin and Hoshu to learn a bit more about its physiological mechanisms and how it has so many health promoting effects in the body. Otherwise, with that being said, let's dive into some of the clinical research around Hoshu Wu's incredible benefits. One of the first benefits of Hoshu is that it's powerfully anti-inflammatory. Inflammatory. According to a variety of clinical studies, emodin, that chemical compound we were talking about earlier, has an incredible capacity for increasing positive gene expression that fights inflammation, as well as decreasing the production of a wide variety of pro-inflammatory cytokines. In fact, according to one study, it was found that an extract of Hoshu Wu has an anti-inflammatory effect on macrophage cells that are stimulated by lipopolysaccharides. So lipopolysaccharides are another word for bacterial endotoxins, which are the metabolic toxic waste of bacterial pathogens in the intestines. So basically, Hoshu Wu was capable of inhibiting the inflammatory response that would otherwise be caused by these bacterial endotoxins. Now specifically speaking, the study found that FOT inhibited nitric oxide, the COX-2 pathway, or cyclooxygenase 2, and a wide variety of inflammatory cytokines, including tumor necrosis factor alpha and interleukin-6. So in other words, again, Hoshu Wu is capable of inhibiting a chronic inflammatory response despite uh, the influence of bacterial endotoxins. So this is something that a lot of people actually deal with. Bacterial endotoxins, again, is probably another way of saying a small intestinal bacterial overgrowth where there's an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine, which should otherwise be sterile, and they're causing an inflammatory response. But Hoshu Wu can inhibit this response, which is going to be incredibly helpful for reducing systemic inflammation. The second major benefit of Hoshu Wu is that it's capable of modulating the immune system or enhancing the innate immune response. Now, according to clinical study, the beneficial sugars in Fo T or Hoshu Wu, like glucose, xylose, amongst other, as well as the anthroquinone glucosides, have a positive immunomodulatory effect in the body. And the word immunomodulation, for those of you that don't know, is another way of saying that it enhances the innate immune function in the immune response. So instead of just stimulating the immune system or suppressing it, it assists the immune system in acting more intelligently. Now there's three specific ways in which FOT has this positive immune enhancing effect. First and foremost, it increases the production of T and B helper cells, which are positive, helpful immune cells that fight 
pathogens, toxins, and other foreign invaders. It also increases the production of something called natural killer cells, which is actually known to induce cancer cell death or cell apoptosis. And at the same time, it increases the production of these helpful immune cells. It decreases the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines like tumor necrosis factor. The third major science-backed benefit of Hoshiwu is its antibacterial and antiviral effects. Now, according to clinical study, the Amodin in FOT or Hoshiwu actually has a profound antibacterial effect on the otherwise resistant bacteria Staphylococcus, which is the bacteria that causes staph infection. In another study, it was found that FOT exhibited an anti-HIV effect by preventing the virus from entering the lymphocytes in a cell-based study. The next major benefit of Hoshiwu is its liver protecting effects. Now there's some controversy and confusion around whether Hoshiwu or FOT is beneficial or harmful to the liver. So if you're confused or concerned about that, definitely watch the video I've made on that particular subject. Otherwise, Otherwise, it's well known actually, according to clinical research, that Hoshiwu is incredibly protective to the liver. So the anthraquinones and the polysaccharides present in Hoshiwu is incredibly protective to the liver by reducing the production of a variety of inflammatory cytokines. At the same time, it decreases lipid peroxidation and fat oxidation while increasing the antioxidant capacity of the liver. So it's an incredible liver protectant as well. The next major benefit of Hoshiwu is its beneficial effects on the brain, cognitive function, and specific specifically combating Alzheimer's disease. Now, according to a variety of different studies, Hoshiwu and its specific glucosides are actually incredibly helpful for slowing age-related memory loss, and it also improves overall memory deficits. In another cell-based study, it was found that an extract of Hoshiwu reduced the amyloid plaque that can cause Alzheimer's disease. Another major benefit of Hoshiwu in regards to brain and cognitive function traces back again to the content of Emodin. In clinical studies, it's been found that Emodin inhibits the breakdown of acetyl choline, which can have a beneficial effect on overall brain and cognitive function. Last but not least, according to another cell-based study, it was found that a FOT or Hoshiwu extract could actually protect the neurons in the hippocampus from glutamate toxicity. So that brings this video to a close. These are just a handful of clinically backed therapeutic benefits of Hoshiwu extract. Now there's actually quite a bit more research on the beneficial effects of Hoshiwu. However, if I were to dive into every last study, this video would be about two hours long. So to save you a bit of time, I've actually written an entire blog post on this particular subject. So if you wanna review the information in this video, check out some of the studies and see some of the other therapeutic benefits according to clinical research of Hoshiwu, then definitely be sure to check out that blog post. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. Otherwise, that does bring this video to a close. So if you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for future videos if you haven't already. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Vitaging Herbs. You can also follow me directly at Nick's Fit if you're interested. And lastly, of course, if you're interested in supplementing with a high quality Hoshibu extract, then you can find that on our online tonic herb shop in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.